Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Coffee, the only source you need for the latest Star Wars news, leaks, official clips, trailers, behind the scenes, TV spots, and more. Standard Jedi Mission Protocol. While you're here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that bell notification so that you're always notified the second a new Star Wars video goes live. I want more. But with that out of the way, let's get into a galaxy far, far away and talk about today's video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Episode 4's runtime for Ahsoka. So we've seen the first three episodes thus far, and Episode 3 was the shortest clocking in under 40 minutes. It was about 36 minutes. And with that, we know that episode 4 is coming on Tuesday. Remember, the date has been moved to Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Alright, so 9 p.m. on Tuesdays, it's no longer 3 a.m. on Wednesday. So everybody remember that in case you're a little behind on that. But with that out of the way, episode 4 is going to be directed by Peter Ramsey. And he seemingly confirms the runtime that was tweeted. Episode 4's runtime is going to be 42 minutes long, and he quoted this tweet with a fist bump and an explosion emoji. Which to me and many others likely confirms that the runtime is indeed going to be 42 minutes long. So episode 4, 42 minutes long, does not give any details on whether or not that is total runtime, including credits or whether or not that's actual runtime of the episode before credits. However, if we take what we've learned from the other three episodes, we know that the credits are about four minutes long with that Kevin Kiner score into it. So with that being the case, we know that part two and part one were a little on the longer end for what we're normally used to, with part two clocking in at 42 minutes long and episode one clocking in at 55 minutes long. So we got a lot of content in those first two episodes. Episode three coming in shorter at 36 minutes, and now we're getting that nice bump back up to 42 minutes. So I would say this is a pretty good range for all of these live action shows. Personally, with the 36 minute episode that was three, I was <laughs> surprised at how quick it did go. I was ready for more. I was ready for them to go into the forest and check it out. But, and then it went to black, and I'm like, ah, they got me. I was thinking, so yeah. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Let me know in the comments whether or not you care about runtime, or whether you care about quality. Personally, I would rather have a shorter episode and have a much higher quality like we did see in some of the Mando episodes in the last couple of seasons. Also, Tales of the Jedi was an excellent example of this, of being shorter episodes, but being super, super high quality, especially those ones with Dooku. Wow, those were great. I want an entire Dooku show of him being a Jedi. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. May God bless you and the Force be with you always. Is it over already? Oh, man! If you enjoyed this episode, and frankly, even if you didn't, don't forget to subscribe. Do it! And if you want to help spread the word, please give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends to subscribe. Please check out the official Star Wars Coffee merchandise, and don't forget to check out all of the content playlists on this channel, including The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and much more.